Hi everyone. In last part, we learned that how we can handle basic input elements in Laravel and how we can get the value inside the controller from the HTML form. But in this part, we will work with some complex HTML elements like checkbox, radio button, range and drop down. So first we will make a view. After that, we will define its route. Then we will make checkbox, radio button, range, drop down and for them we will define IDs and label and all. Then we will make controller and get these input elements value inside our controller and at last we will discuss some important interview question also. Alright, so now let's uh, go to the terminal and let's create our view first, right. And here you can see that for now we have only one view welcome.blade.php. So here I am creating one more with the command php artisan make view and your view name view name can be let's say user form or something right so whenever i will just hit enter you will see there is a one uh, html form so let me just add one tag there you can just any uh, put any data for example i am putting add new user or something right now let's make a route for this so i am making another route route colon view and its path its path can be let's say user form then our view name which is user form right and then let's see is it working or not uh, and yeah we have to start our uh, php artisan server again this is started now let's just put their user form and there you can see that we are uh, able to see this form right so now what we can do we can add some uh, form input element so first let me create a form there and form will be the type of uh, post I already told you what is the uh, get method and what is the post method why we use them in last part right so now let's create a div and inside this div let's create a h4 tag and there you can see that user skills or something user skills right and then I am creating an input with the checkbox right and then a uh, name I can put skill ID can be let's say PHP and value can be again PHP there right so that means like a, a developer or a user what is a skill set of that user right and for that again I'm putting a label and inside this label I will just put uh, one text uh, let's say I can simply say that PHP right and whenever you will visit this UI here you can see that we can uh, enable and disable this view but this is uh, we can check and uncheck this uh, checkbox but this is not working whenever I'm just clicking on the PHP for that what you need to do you have to define a for attribute and this for attribute you have to put the ID like what is the ID now PHP and now you will see whenever I'm clicking on the PHP this is working perfectly fine so the next thing let's create two or three more checkbox so one for uh, let's say java and id could be also java and this id should be matched with the four then the value text which is visible is java and skill should be the same and now you will find that we have the two thing right php and java so let me change this uh, last php to the node and again id can be the same as as and uh, keep in mind these four ids everything is a case sensitive so whatever you are putting keep in mind your case sense right and now put their node now you can see that everything is working perfectly fine okay so after this what we can do let's define the gender also right uh, gender input element so let me put their user gender and there what we need to do uh, we just need two things there right so first let's change this type to the radio then skill can be gender and keep in mind the name of both of these should be the same whenever you are defining the checkbox radio box right and then id can be let's say male and this id should be same for the four attribute that's why so that they can work and the value will be again male and the text is also male and similarly for the second one I am defining the ID is female that should be matched with the four attribute value will be again female and let's change this text also 
right and now you can see that both are perfectly working fine keep in mind if you will just change the name is, is not same let's say one is gender one is uh, gender one then you can check the both of these and which should not be like this so the name should be same for the both of them right yeah so the next thing we can define the range also so let's say i want to define their age user age and right uh, you can use anything i just want to display something that's why i'm just putting their range right and now I'm putting uh, ID can be let's say age or you can remove the ID also uh, and uh, the current value you can remove you can put their max let me define the type also range right and max can be let's say 100 and min can be let's say 18 this is a validation you can say that now this is also there right and uh, the name should be also age yeah and now let's talk about last one which is city let's say drop down right user city or something now let's put a select you can close this select and after that we can see that option and we can close option like this and uh, in option we can see that let's say daily now you can see that this is visible but there should be some other option also and value should be also there so value let me put there daily only let me make two three copies for this for let's say noida noida last one is kukam or jaipur whatever you want to put right so yeah right and again we have to define the name to this select box name can be city yep okay cool so the next thing we have to submit this form for that what we need we need a button also so let me create a div button and button name can be let's say add new user or some something all right yeah so so i'm not adding so much style with this i'm just want to show you a wrong uh, row things because in last part i already told you how we can style the things right okay so after that we have to put the uh, action like where we want to submit so let me put there user add user i can mention right add user so i will i have to make a action or you can say that route with the same path okay so the next thing i have to make a controller so put a controller command php artisan make colon controller and controller name can be let's say user controller let's hit enter and there we have here you can see that this is created now let me create one function also function add user or something and for now let's make their echo uh, hello from add user function or something whatever you want to say right okay so now we have to call this function whenever we will submit this action so what we need to do we have to go in the action this line will be not there we have to import it manually i actually just forget to remove when i just remove the other code so what you need to do to import this first you have to put the namespace path and then your class name which is user controller like this only right okay cool so the next thing is we have to make a route for this route colon keep in mind you should have to use their post because in a form we define the method post so whenever we will submit only post method will work and post and inside this what path we have to put the path which we provided inside the action now in the second parameter we have to call this user controller colon colon class and then in the second parameter we have to provide the function name which we want to call like this perfect now i hope this will be called so let me start your php uh, artisan server again and it should work perfectly fine let's see uh, if there is any error so you can select male female some country or, or city and all 
clicking on the add new user and we got 419 which we know that why we are getting this because we have to put there at the rate csrf token right because as i told you in last part this is mandatory for the security purposes clicking on the add new user and you can see that this function is getting called which function this one all right so now the thing how we can get the old value so return and get the request type parameter and let's simply return this request like this and now you can see that we are getting the skill gender age city everything whatever you are getting so let me select uh, let me select their java right then female some age let's say just i'm completing the 100 city is gurgaon clicking on the add new user you can see that age city female everything but there is an issue let me select all of these uh, skills and whenever you will click over there only one skill is selected why because we have to make it array if you want to select all of the skills so just define there like make like this only and now if you will submit it again now you will see we are getting all of these values so this is we are getting all the values in bulk so let's say you if you want to get values one by one then what do you need to do ah this is so simple just make echo dollar request dollar request then let's say you want to get city and there we go you are getting city let's make uh, some br tag so that we can show some line break after that let's see their gender gender is also there right and if you want to see let's say age this is also there right so let me select something else let's say i'm selecting their gurgaon male range is list click on the add new user you can see that 18 male and noida but with the same way if i'll select the skill so if, will it work no actually if i just put their skill it will not work because see there we are selecting multiple values and these values are in the array and whenever you are just echo array cannot be print for that we what we need to do there we simply need print r like this now the skills will be visible there you can see that right so that's all how we can uh, use the complex input elements and how we can submit and get the values thank you so much if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much guys